Hi there, I am Fribjo Thakar. Welcome to today's video and it is also the first video of 2023 on my channel. We'll start off with a simple yet important topic called word error rate. If you're doing a project in natural language processing, you may, may have already encountered word error rate when reading research papers. So in this video, we're going to understand what is WER and how do we calculate WER. So let's get started. So basically, WER is a performance metric. It's a metric that is used to evaluate how good of a automatic speech recognition system is. So the automatic speech recognition systems are things such as Alexa or Siri, which takes spoken sentence as input and they try to understand what is in that spoken sentence so you can think of a um, speech to text application so we want to have a measure to understand how different is the output of us asr system which is a uh, text how different that is from the input sentence which is a spoken sentence so the way WER compares this input, which is a spoken sentence, to the output, which is a transcribed speech, the way WER compares these two is word by word. Before we understand how to actually calculate WER, we will understand what is Levenstein's distance. Because WER is actually derived from Levenstein's distance. So let's take a look at two words so we have steel s-t-e-e-l and we have another word steel which is s-t-e-a-l so if you want to compare these two words according to the levenstein's distance we compare them at the phoneme level so you can take letter by letter and then you can compare the difference so in these two cases the total number of word in the reference total number of letters in the reference word which is steel is 5 and there is just one letter difference between these two so the levenstein's distance is 1 divided by 5 which is 0.2 now let's extend this to wer so wer works the same way as levenstein's distance the difference is that here we compare word by word rather than letter by letter so we have two sentences so one of the sentence is the reference sentence which is actually the spoken sentence and then we have the output of the asr system which is a sentence and we align these two sentences and then we look for the differences mainly we look for are there any substitutions are there any insertions or are there any deletions of words and then we add up all these different kinds of errors so errors meaning substitutions insertions and deletions and then we divide that by the total number of spoken words and what we get is our word error rate let's look at some examples so let's say we have a spoken sentence could you get me a towel and then we give that sentence to an asr system and it transcribes that sentence as could you get me at all? So if we align these two, we see everything is the same up to me, but then A is substituted by at, then towel is substituted by all. So we have two substitutions. So total number of error here is just two. And then we divide that by total number of words in the reference sentence, which is the spoken sentence. And then we get the word error rate. Similarly, so let's say we have a spoken sentence, hey Tom, it is mom, will you come? And then the ASR system gives us the, gives us the output, which says, hey Tom, it's mom, what do you call? So here again, we align these two sentences, and then we see what are the differences. So here, will is substituted by what, and then you have a new word, which is not present in the reference sentence. So this is an insertion. And then you is you, and then come is substituted by call. So you have one insertion and two substitutions. The total number of error is three. 
and then you divide by the total number of words in the reference sentence and then you get the word error rate. So one important thing to understand here is when we calculate the word error rate, it is important to normalize the text. What we mean by that is, so if you are in an NLP, you know that for the text, we normally do pre-processing. So steps in pre-processing could be to remove all the punctuations or to lowercase all of the, all of the words. So that's, that's important when we calculate WER. The reason is that, so let's say this C was capital, then this could with the small c and could with a capital C would be counted as two different words, which is not what we want. So it's important to normalize the uh, text before we calculate the WER. And I just want to point out that the examples that I'm showing here, um, this is actually the example from a model called Whisper, which was released by OpenAI in October last year. So these, this is the actual output from um, um, from a whisper model. So this is the word error rate. Now, despite the uh, usage, very common usage of um, word error rate, it does have some limitations. So for example, so let's say I have a speech that has an accent or I have a speech that contains a lot of background noise. So let's say even if I say the same sentence, I speak the same sentence, but they have different um, context, meaning so one is one has a one has an accent or one it has a background noise and one is just simply a red speech. So the word error rate may be different because the ASR system may not be robust to noise and it may not understand the accent. So the word error rate might be different in these cases. So even though word error rate is commonly used, and it's a very simple metric to understand, it, its limitations are that it does not tell us the source of the error. It simply just gives us the total number of errors. So just keep that in mind, but still, it's an important metric that's commonly used. So now if you want to understand, if you want to make sure that you really understood how to calculate the word error rate, I would suggest to go on the Hugging Face um, page here. So you can input your um, reference sentence, and then you can give the output of the ASR system here, and then you can try to calculate the word error rate by hand using the formula that we saw in the presentation. And then if you want to cross-check your answer, I would say just uh, hit submit after you have here, and then you can cross-reference cross, cross your uh, hand calculations with actual word error rate. Now, how do we calculate the word error rate using Python? So for that, because normally when you are calculating the word error rate, you're not comparing just one sentence. You have input which contains many sentences. So you want to calculate the word error rate for all of those sentences at once. So there is actually a package called JIWER. And this is a Python package. You can install it by just doing pip install and then use it to calculate the word error rate for a bunch of sentences. And uh, as you can see here, so here, let's say you have ground truth, which is, which, which is your spoken sentence. And then you have the output, uh, which, which is the output of the ASR system. And then you can just simply give the ground truth and the output to this um, uh, to this WER package, and then it will give you the uh, result. So that, that it's really simple to use. So that's pretty much what we want to discuss about uh, word error rate. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I welcome you to, welcome you to subscribe to my channel because I'll be covering a lot more topics on NLP and a bunch of other areas. So stay tuned. And for now, thank you and have a good day.